Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for joining me. This foundation, right, I have seen a lot of mixed reviews, to be honest. I've seen people really like it, and then I've seen people describe it in the most unusual ways. So I'm really interested to try this out and see my personal opinion about this. This is the new e.l.f. foundation, Soft Glam Satin Foundation. Sounds really nice. I don't know if it's oily skin friendly, we will figure that out. My skin is very oily. Get buildable, just right coverage and long wearing satin finish with your hydrating foundation. That's anything but basic. Okay. There's actually 36 shades to choose from in this foundation and it's only eight pounds or eight dollars, depending where you are. So they sent me three shades and a brush and some sponges, but I'm gonna use a brush. I'm gonna swatch the shades I have try it on, do a little wear test, and then have some final thoughts there for you. Just before we get into this video today, do please consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment. If you don't know what to comment, just comment the algorithm. I don't know why that, I get, I don't know why that confuses me. I always say that. Okay, so let's get into it. They have sent me three different shades. So we have 22 light warm, 23 light cool, and 24 light warm. 23, the middle one here seems to be the best shade for me in terms of the way it is over my skin. It seems a bit more neutral. This is one shade too dark, but not completely out of question. And this is maybe just slightly too light, but again, not completely out of question. So I think we're going to go with 23 Light Cool. Yeah, actually you can see the top looks a bit bruised, especially with my dark mark there. I've just taken it off so my face looks a bit red. I've just used a moisturizer and an eye cream today. I haven't done anything fancy with my skincare. I haven't done a primer, anything like that. We're going to use a brush I sent over. I do really like Elf's Complexion Brushes, that double-sided one I especially like. I quite like the tube and the size of this as well. I feel like I can get through this foundation um, and actually finish a foundation. <laughs> the texture feels really lightweight. It doesn't necessarily feel like a gel, but it does look like it has some good coverage to it. That's just like a tiny dot and that's just me blending out a little bit. So it does look like we should maybe start with a small amount and then build up from there. Smells good. Smells a bit like um, a lightweight sunscreen. Okay, so I'm using a bit of a 23 on the back of my hand. Let's just go for it. I'm just going to start in the middle and tap outwards. Yeah, a little bit does go. <laughs> a long way. With me and foundation, I like to get down an even layer first. I'm not worried about coverage so much on my first go round. I just want to get the foundation even and have it sitting even on my skin. And then we can go around again and consider coverage. I would say with this brush, I'm actually wanting to find my other e.l.f. brush. Oh, where is it? I just cleaned it. This is a complexion duo and I prefer this because I can switch the brush around <laughs> and get into all these small bits here, whereas the size of this is quite big for me. I, I would rather get into all those little areas with a more detailed brush so then I don't have to like go over my eyebrows and accidentally cover my lashes, you know what I mean? I decided it's much easier for me to do foundation tests with my forehead out <laughs> so we can see everything. Okay, let's have a little close up. It's not sitting too bad in my like troublesome areas. Um, Sometimes if a foundation it sits really terrible on this, you'll see nothing but texture and it looks really horrible. It's sitting very, very nicely on the skin. It definitely is that like satin finish where it has a bit of a shine to it, but it's not overwhelmingly glossy or glowy. I am going to try a little bit more coverage on my cheeks just to see how that builds up. I'm just going to pat that on in place. It's sitting really, really nicely. I personally would mattify my nose. This kind of finish I like on this area here, but I would mattify the middle area off my face. Feels very lightweight. I can't feel it on the skin. Close up texture looks like my skin. It hasn't added any excess texture. It hasn't taken away any texture, if that's a thing. So let me do that. I'm going to mattify the middle of, my, of the face. Let me do some other complexion products alongside this and see how it sits. And tomorrow I'll do a full day's wear test. I think I'm going to go with a shade lighter. Um, just because you can kind of see the yellowness in this compared to like, let's say my natural skin tone, which is still quite a bit yellow, but it's a bit more neutral when it comes to foundations and see how it sits. But let me grab some bits. So I'm just going to use my Wake Make Powder, Press Powder. This is so soft and stunning on the skin. It's one I take everywhere with me. I do use a pad when I'm out. I need to touch up, but I am just going to use a really, really light brush. 
during the wear test, I won't wear powder. I don't like to like help <laughs> the foundation in any way when I'm doing a wear test. I'm gonna take this cream blush. This is from a brand called Noose. I think I believe it's pronounced Noose and it's a shade free. I don't know the actual name because it's in Korean, but these are so natural um, on the skin. They don't look like anything. So I'm just gonna tap that into the foundation. Look at that. Look, it's just like liquid. It's just like liquid blush. Well, it is liquid blush. <laughs> it's like water. It's so beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. So natural. And you can really, really build it up as well if you wanted to. But because we're doing that like satin kind of finish foundation, I think it's quite nice to, yes, mattify where you want to, but then also keep the rest of the skin as satin as possible. So with like cream blushes and and minimal color on the face. I, but I don't think there's any point in wearing like a satin foundation and then mattifying your whole face. I'm gonna go in with my Day Seek um, concealer palette. I'm gonna use this tone up in the corner here. I'm gonna use a small bit just under the eyes. I'm not dragging it onto the skin because I want the foundation to stay how it is. Just that tiny bit of correction. I'm doing a video in a minute where I'm doing eye makeup. So I'm just gonna stay away from the eyes just for now, the upper lid I mean, cause I need to put some eye primer on. And I'm just gonna add a bit of structure with my Jung Se Mool contour palette. So these you can mix together. This one is actually a hair shader. So if you wanted to shade in your hair, you can do. I'm just gonna mix the two together here. Give a tiny amount of structure. It's nice to have a product that's actually shadow and not bronze. Okay, so that's our foundation with a little bit of color, a little bit of um, definition. Let's go to the wear test and see how it went throughout the day. Now, this is a very quick wear test. This The clips are over a full day, but you see the color changed quite drastically throughout the day. It got yellower and yellower. And by the end of the day, it looked very yellow on my skin. I would say this does not sit well on oily skin. You can see it's kind of like gone a bit patchy. Some bits are missing. I can imagine this will be beautiful for drier skins, maybe some more combination skins, but on oily skin, I would definitely be wary that you may have to touch it up a few times or even reapply. Okay, well, as usual, let me know your opinions down below. Have you tried this foundation yet? Will you try this foundation? I always think eight pounds or eight dollars for a foundation is pretty much a bargain and e.l.f. always do really, really nice products. So yeah, let me know what you think down below and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.